craft our laws. Great insights. We're going to the favorite part of the show for many, but we're going to do a bumper sticker version of your disgrace of the week, starting with you. The GOP silence, particularly now that we have the public January 6th hearings and the silence on the part of so many Republicans as to what transpired that day, what transpired in the lead up to that day, the culpability of our former president, et cetera, et cetera. That was a big bumper sticker. Mm -hmm. How about you, Chris? I'm going to give it to the mainstream media. You had an assassination attempt on a, a Supreme Court justice mm. by a, an abortion supporter who shows up with a bag of weapons, and a lot of the press didn't cover it, or they covered it on page 20. Had that been a you know crazy MAGA guy going after a liberal support, uh, Supreme Court justice, they would have covered it uh, every minute of the day. Scott? Colorado Avalanche, disgrace of the week. They showed no mercy uh, to, the, to the Oilers. <laughs> they just destroyed them. <laughs> Disgraceful. Ed? <laughs> the same psychopath that Krista mentioned, but I want to take it from the perspective that it needs to open our eyes uh, and that law enforcement agencies, when the abortion decision comes down, need to protect against this kind of violence, just as we are talking about how they need to protect against the violence against the two other branches of government that we saw play out last year. Well, we're almost out of time. If we can say very quickly something nice. Let's go Avalanche. Liz Cheney, thanks for being so courageous. Congratulations to the Colorado Youth Advisory Council. They just passed a bill helping kids. Congrats to the business community and progressive groups who combined to pass the bill, putting $600 million into the Unemployment Insurance Trust Fund that Governor Polis signed this week. Well, I'm glad we didn't have to skip something nice. But that does bring our conversation to a close for this week. Thank you, panelists, for sharing your insights with us. And catch us next week, same time, same place. But in the meantime, share your thoughts about commenting on our YouTube live stream or by emailing cio at pbs12.org. And let us hear your thoughts on these topics or any others. Well, for that matter, uh, I just want to say thank you for continuing this program here on PBS 12. And for everyone at PBS 12, 